It's an exciting weekend. We train all year round to peak at uh, Eastern Sprints and, and I race shortly after. So it's pretty exciting. Uh, you know, a bit of a, a rough spring, not quite exactly what we expected. You know, we weren't running boat races by open water by no means. Um, but we're more than prepared. We've had a you know, great week of practice, uh, posted some pretty fast times, and we're more than uh, prepared to head into the, this weekend uh, and, and win some boat races, which is what we have to do, and put us in a good position to qualify and uh, put us in a good position for I race. We always have these two races, uh, Eastern Sprints and I race, in the back of our heads, but we kind of use the other races, the, the uh, in, uh, dual races, as kind of the training. So we can take what we learn from a race, like with the good and the bad parts, and uh, make a better race and have it fixed by Eastern Sprints. We have a pretty young team, and those guys are definitely pulling their own weight. You know, very, very proud of the younger guys, you know, stepping up and you know, not only rolling with the, you know, the seniors and juniors on the team, but also contributing, so that's pretty exciting. We, I mean, we pretty much have a set lineup, same group of guys for the past couple of three races, maybe, and uh, we finally find our rhythm, and since uh, the last race, we only had like, one switch, so it's not a really big deal, but um, we, we, yeah, in the past couple of practices, we've been finding our rhythm, so we hope to carry that into the Eastern Sprints. Yeah, we're definitely not power trying to go off rhythm and stubbornness, it's like getting as much free speed as possible from the boat, no wasted energy. So it's our goal at this point to relax, follow the man in front, as Coach always says, and uh, always have that guy's back in front of you. Know it's nine guys, it's a collective group, you know, putting that fastest, fastest time out there, heading the boat, and come out with the win.